Hey guys, Rex here. So I combed my hair one time, but it doesn't always stay combed. Uh, this quick video is answering some questions we had concerning the packing list for the armed retainer courses. We do mention uh, to bring your go-to rifle. So what is a go-to rifle? Folks are asking like, hey, is this like a bolt action course, an AR course, like a HTI course, what do we need? And so your go-to rifle is just what it says. It's what are you actually gonna use if you need a rifle, right? So I'll give you a few examples. So like if I'm in my Freedom Pub area here and all I have is the Trapdoor Springfield or the 1876 Centennial Big Boar and 4575 Winchester, I'll probably go to the repeater. Plus, you always gotta have your, uh, you know, 24-7, 365 capability, so keep a light on it. If I happen to be in the Bill of Rights room, then my go-to rifle might be the Craig Jorgensen up there, the 1898. Or if I got uh, specialized ammo for the 1903 A3, I might go for that. Whatever you have available. If I'm in the top secret bunker area, uh, my go-to rifle might be like one of these things, okay? I got an M4, got a Mark 18, got a Ruger uh, that we just did to uh, SBR and a Form 1. And these are all pretty good. You want to make sure you got your light on them and all that stuff, right? And uh, a sling is always good to have. So... That's a good go-to rifle right there as well. If I find myself in the thunder box, then I might use the thunder stick, the good old M82A1. That's a great go-to rifle because it's right next to where I am. Well, now that puts a whole new meaning to the word pushka now, doesn't it? <laughs> if I'm on my way to get an Earl Grey tea, I'll have this go-to rifle, which is a M4 with an ACOG and a light and if something's far away that's scary, then I got the old uh, 6.5 PRC today. So that's my go-to rifle for when I'm sitting next to those. So if I like come over here to grab a jacket to go outside because it's cold out and the Chinese paratroopers start coming down, well, then I'll just go for the old 6.5 Creedmoor here and a Mossberg, I think, Predator. And uh, that will be my go-to rifle because it's like the rifle I have where I'm at. So like here's an example of the go-to rifle that uh, Simo Hadaha would have used to fight off the Russian army back in the Winter War of 39. He did pretty good. They said it was an antiquated antique rifle that was out of date and he got 505 commies. So to like make a long story short, whatever rifle you have can be your go-to rifle if you're a rifleman, right? And if you're a rifleman, like you're not going to be all that much handicapped by anything that works that you have ammo for, okay? Um, it's best to have something you can actually carry. So something light is good. Uh, something you can have a sling attached to is like pretty necessary, right? Uh, you need to have light on it. It's good to have a low power optic of some kind for most situations in most parts of the country. You can have a big rifle, you can have a little rifle. If you can carry it and have it with you, then it'll be fine. The main thing is to have something and then know how to use it. This stuff is really centered on the shooter, being a shooter and an operator of that equipment properly. And it's really a, a skill set more than an equipment set, okay? So keep that in mind when you come to the course, you're welcome to bring whatever rifle you have, whatever rifle you want. Um, M4s, ARs are good. You know, uh, DMR type rifles are great. Whatever you got, I mean, uh, bring what you have, but uh, do check out the minimum equipment list on rexdefense.com for details on the peripheral equipment. You're going to want to have a light. Everything that's on that list, you're going to want to have. Um, so just look at that and you should be fine. We do have a couple slots that did we did open up for people. We had a few requests. People really want to come to the May course, the one in May coming up real soon. So I did open up just a couple slots there. I don't remember who it was in the commentaries, but we had quite a few people asking for that May course, so I'm opening that up. We just did it just like right now, so if you wanna grab that, go ahead and grab it while you can, and we'll catch you soon.